Hello folks, it's me again. Anyways, I went through my video, looked at it, and I saw, well, uh, my cameraman sucks, I'm going to have to fire him. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I want to give you highlights of the three best effigies I think here, so, and, and give you a detail where I can actually see what I'm aiming at and shooting at, so to give you some better detail. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, John de la Beche. Um, anyways, you can see a detail of his uh, mustache as well what's left of his nose, and then, of course, the detail of his uh, uh, padded avantel underneath his, or uh, underneath his bassinet. Uh, details of the bassinet, uh, we've got a couple of rivets saying something's attached, probably the padding's attached at these points, hard points, and then, of course, you've got tubular vervels. Um, here's a detail of the helmet, uh, showing the, definitely that Pembroke look, Pembroke look, uh, with some Fleur de lis type details uh, up the front ridge and down the front ridge. Uh, no breasts huh, are carved into this, unfortunately. Uh, here you go. Detail of some of the graffiti. This has been around since 1656 or whatever. Um, details of the buckle as well with the idea of size and scale. So as that buckle is that belt's at least two inches wide. Uh, then, of course, you have your, looks like a Gampoy squirt. And then details of your uh, knee cops as well from inside and then from the top. So, but here, this is a kind of detail. It shows you've got your central ridge and then you've got this transverse ridge that's running on that. That's typical in most of these. Uh, what's good about these, this is, gives you a very good... Uh, detail of um, the 14th century, especially the early part. Uh, from most of these are like early 13 or 1316, I think is the earliest date I see on this. Uh, detail of the lacing of the surcoat. And you can see how the lacing continues on the surcoat. Right there, all the way down to the end with some of the hole in what looks to be the gamboys. Now this could be um, some kind of gathered fabric. Um, like smocking, et cetera, that's in there to give a sense of fullness, but you can also definitely see the second level right here of another garment in there. No representations of male. I mean, these could be male underneath, you don't know, um, but the artist typically did not. You can see he's wearing actually big rowel spurs on his feet, what's left of them there. Uh, this is another side of the cops as well, which is typically different than what you see for most of the cop representations that we do uh, modernly. Okay, now we're going to go from John, who's 1316. Um, anyways, he was actually keeper of Winchester Castle, believe it or not, and we're going to go to the biggest giant of them all, uh, one of the Phillips, and you can see here's a detail of the helmet. Sorry about the light, it's not so great in here. But you can see details on it, his helmet. Um, and it actually looks like it's a segmented helmet uh, of some kind with some odd strapping. So, uh, But I can only get it at a limited example, so I really can't tell the whole thing. It's kind of harsh. I think I'm going to have to come in here again. But you can see details on the relief carving around the face. And it looks like it does have a type of visor. Uh, with some mantling, under mantling on the back, and his coif. Uh, you can see details of, well, I'm not sure if it's armor or cloth or leather or whatever. It's like segmented over his shoulder in such a way. But you can also start to see here you got a very ornate uh, rear brace with the hinging on it. But it looks like the hinging is kind of offset, like right here and right here. So there's a part looks like that it lays over another part. Uh, and then you kind of see this line down here. Well, I don't know. Well, here, let's see. See this line down here. See, here's that segment right there. Uh, anyways, you can see the details of the edges. And then the straps on that as well. Okay. Examples. We'll scooch up here. You can see his surcoat. Uh, looks like a 
something else is underneath that as well. It could be folds, but then you see Gamboy's creases. Here, though, I get to pointing, looking at what I'm doing. But anyway, so, so you hear this is a surcoat. You see another piece that looks like it goes underneath that. And then you have your Gamboy's creases uh, along with a different representation of Holland's. You can see here's a strong central ridge. And, uh, well, you don't see that uh, other ridge there, but then you can see like a, uh, a big supersized lame and then also an undersized lame as well. Uh, like it says, you can see it on this example here, on this knee, a little bit better. There you go. So, and then some decorative hedging and what looks like some hinging or a central pivot on there. Uh, so, like a big demi-grave type thing, knee caught, and then another demi lame puts up top um, you can see on the uh, calves it's rather ornate uh, front greave with edging and some of the strapping there as well also it looks like it may be attached as well and that straps just a retaining strap at the bottom to keep it in line uh, on the underside of the skirt you can see the Gamboy's creasing and also looks like another kind of Gamboy skirt that's underneath and then followed by the surcoat with the sweeping lines etc. Uh, all in all this is a pretty impressive one. Off we go. Here we go. We see another Philip. This is the one I was talking about. Anyways, um, you can see right here you can see a detail of like an inner skirt or it could be tunic or whatever. And then you can see a very voluminous kind of under curling. It's not represented in the, the folds exactly of the surcoat, so it may be something else. I'm not sure. Well, and then you can see part of the surcoat as well folded. So it's very full. Uh, gives you some examples of what it is. This is a beautiful church, by the way. Um, here you go. Uh, you can definitely see the hinging on that and then on the uh, right arm you can see it's not contiguous doesn't wrap around it has two straps that hold it around the bicep and then the same thing happens with the van brace it's also hinged uh, has some curls on it and then straps as well gauntlets and then you see your bassinet and some kind of revels of some type another type of Great Helm, which is also very similar to Pembroke. Like I said, this hasn't been well kept. Doesn't show very much details of the Great Helm, uh, other than the eye slots. And then here you can see Van Brace on the right from the other side. So these are definite gutter defenses type. And then you can see his belt buckle. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video series that I've come up with. I try to add a little bit to the community every time I come around. And then, of course, you only see the right-hand side lacing on the surcoat. So... I plan to make uh, some more trips up here in the future. So... Um, you know, if you have any requests, let me know. I'll try to do it. It's like I'm going to bring a uh, paper and I'm going to do some drawings. I'm going to talk to the church people, see if I actually can, like, lift some patterns off of things just so I can be a little bit more authentic in some of this stuff. Uh, we'll see what I can do. I mean, notice you got some great access in here. If you come in here, please, you know, be gentle. Um, this stuff's been around. It needs to keep around for the ages. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.